let's discuss why k alpha line in x ray spectrum has higher intensity than k beta line we know that in x ray in x ray diffraction analysis we use x ray we use these lines to identify the crystal structure of the material before discussing this let's briefly explain that how x ray are produced we know that when we simply bombard electrons or beam of electrons on certain materials so these electrons are basically losing its energy these electrons are decelerating and we know that these electrons having only kinetic energy and we know kinetic energy is equal to half mv square and this loss in kinetic energy is basically converted into another form of energy in the form of photons and those photons are basically called x-ray but we are not interested in this type of x-ray because these are called continuous x-ray and the intensity is very low here but we are interested in characteristic x-ray so now we know that every material is basically composed of large number of atoms billion or trillion atoms right so when we use very high energetic electrons when we use very very high energetic electrons so the electrons can reach to the core level of the atom and there is a probability that the incident electron can knock out the core electron so we get vacancy here we get hole here and this is basically called the ejected electron now there is a vacancy in the k shell this is basically the k shell this is basically the l shell this is basically the m shell now there is a vacancy here in this k uh, shell here so the, the the l shell electron can drop to this vacancy and because of this uh, transition the electron in the l shell is in high energy as compared to the k, k shell so we, we basically the difference in that energy is basically emit in the form of photon and that is basically called characteristics x-ray and this x-ray is basically we call k alpha line here now look there is also a probability that this vacancy can be filled by this m shell electrons but this probability is very very less because a common sense is also say that the, this this shell is closer to this vacancy so there is a more probability more chance to fill by this uh, 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 l shell is compared to the m shell now as i explained that there are billion atoms so this intensity is basically intensity basically means the content of something this means that if we have more transition here from the l shell to the k shell so we will have this higher intensity as i explained that there are many atoms billion or billion atoms so there might be some atoms where this k vacancy can be filled by the m shell there, there may be a probability but if we think if we use common sense so the probability from the m shell is very less as compared to the k because let's suppose if it is 100 here 100 um, uh, atoms here so maybe the 70 the probability of 70 atom uh, the, 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 the l shell uh, electron will fill this vacancy and maybe the 30 the 30 uh, uh, electron may be from m to fill this uh, k uh, shield vacancy this is why the k alpha uh, has higher intensity and we know in simple intensity basically means the area under the cuff so this means that of course both 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 curve have the same shapes so this means that uh, this intensity is higher k alpha very not only high but uh, we know that the area under the cuff is basically intensity so the, the 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 shape are the same so this means that the k alpha intensity is very very high as compared to k beta so this is why we say that the k alpha intensity is greater than the k beta and this was the reason behind that this is a little bit tricky one but i must ask the uh, community that please work that uh, if if let's suppose if the target material is composed of a uh, thousand uh, atoms and all thousand atom uh, these the, the l shell l atoms basically fill this vacancy then how this k beta is possible because we, as we explained that this uh, this uh, this l shell is very close to the k shell so we we, we can think that there will be always uh, the l shell to fill this vacancy and there will be not uh, chance there will be zero probability to fill this 
uh, H shell vacancy by M shell. But I explain a little bit here, but how this is possible? Common sense says that there may not be this K beta because if L shell is close to the K shell, so if there, there are billion atoms, so all atom will first fill from this L shell. So, if, but why, why this is the scenario? Uh, we will uh, discuss this in the comment if you have any doubt, but uh, this is how uh, we explain that the K alpha line has higher intensity than the K beta line in X-ray spectrum.